So let me give you a real example. We talked about boards and things like that. Um, but what if you had the number 3.8 and I asked you to round it up or round it down? So for the first problem here, I'm going to draw a number line. We're not going to do it for every problem, but I'm going to do it once because I think at least once it will help you visualize what's going on. So the number line, let's put the number 3.8 on this number line. Um, so let's go ahead and say this is the number 2, this is the number 3, this is the number four, and over here could be the number five. Now, of course, there's numbers that way, and there's numbers that way, even more numbers. But here we have the numbers two, three, four, five. We know that 3.8 is going to fall somewhere in here, because here's a number three, and here's a number four. All right, so if we, we know that 3.8 is going to be somewhere between three and four. We know that already. So here, right in the middle between three and four, right in the middle is what we call 3.8. Five, right because 3.5 is three and a half and that's right between three and four so what we have then is we have 3.1 3.2 3.3 3.4 and then we have our 3.5 and then we have 3.6 3.7 3.8 3.9 and then after 3.9 you roll over to 4.0 so basically what you have is when you're looking at the tenths place like that, is you can divide between any two numbers, three and four, we can divide it into 10 spots. This is 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, .8, 3 .9, and 4.0. So our number 3.8, we've already said it a few times. This is 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8. Our number is actually right here, 3.8. So let me ask you a question. If I were going to round 3.8 to the nearest whole number, to the nearest whole number, okay? In other words, I want to either choose 3 or 4 as being closer to 3.8. Which one's closer to 3.8, 3 or 4? Clearly, it's very close to 4. So if I were going to round this to the nearest whole number, I would round to the number 2. I would round to the number 4 because it's very, very close to that. All right. If I had a number over here like 3.2 or even 3.3, this would be much closer to this number, so I might round down to 3. In this case, I'm rounding up to 4. So the rule is, if it's less than 5, you round down to the next number. So 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, any of those numbers, I just round it down to the whole number that's below. Okay. And if it's 3.5 or higher, I round up. So 3.5 is right in the middle. And if I happen to get that one, if I'm rounding 3.5, I always go up to the next whole number. So the way rounding is uh, works is if it's 5 or higher, you round up to the next whole number. And if it's anything less than 5, you round down. That's the basic idea of what rounding is. It lets you estimate things because sometimes you don't really care about the exact value. You're just trying to estimate something. So you might round up or down to figure out how that works. So let's go ahead and do a few problems. So here we're going to be uh, rounding to nearest whole number, the nearest whole number. So when I say nearest whole number, I'm saying something like 15.2, right? So my choices here, I have, I have some, uh, some value after the decimal, but the whole number is what's in front of the decimal. So I'm either going to choose 15 or 16 to be what I'm rounding to. And here's 15.2. I told you if it was less than 5, if the digit were less than 5, you'd round down. So this one, you're going to round down to the number 15, because 15.2 is much closer to 15 than it is to 16, so you're rounding down, right? Let me switch colors. What if we have the number 4.5? Your choices are, I can round down to the number 4, or I can round up to the number 5. Since the digit that, I, that I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at rounding to the nearest whole number, so I always look at the next digit over to determine what to do. This is a 5, so I need to round up. That's going to be the number 5. When you're deciding what, uh, how to round, you always look to the next digit over. That's what you look at to figure out if you should be rounding up or down. So here we're looking to round to the nearest whole number. So what if we have the number 23.4? We're trying to round to the nearest whole number, so our cho choices are 23 or 24. So we look at the next digit over, it's 0.4, which means that's less than 5, so we round down 
to the number 23. If this were 23.7, we'd round up to 24. Okay, and then what if I have 97.9? I'm rounding to the whole number, so I look at the next digit. It's greater than five, so I'm rounding up from 97 to 98. So, so far, we've only been rounding to the nearest whole number, which is kind of what I was telling you before. I have a board, 11.6 feet, so I'm gonna round up to 12. Or 11.8 feet, I'm gonna round up to 12. Or 11.1 feet, I'm gonna round down to 11. So you're always looking at the next digit past what you care about rounding to, to figure out which way to go. In this case, so far, we've only been rounding to the nearest whole number. So we've been looking at the next digit after the whole number to figure out how to round up or down. So now we're going to be rounding to a different digit. And it's going to make things a little bit different. So we're going to be rounding to nearest, not to the nearest whole number. In these problems, we're going to be rounding to the nearest tenth. Let me give you an example. 2.5. Three, four. We need to round this to the nearest tenth. Let me ask you, we've talked about decimal place value. What digit in this problem is the tenths place? The tenths place. Well, after the decimal, the very first digit is the tenths place. So we want to round uh, to, this, to this level. So what we do is we look at the next digit over, which is a four, which is less than five. So we round down to 2.3. Our choices were 2.3 or 2.4. We're rounding to the nearest tenth. And we look at the next digit over to figure out to go down like that. What if we have 0 0.819? We're rounding to this place right here. That's the tenth place, the tenths place, okay? So all we do is we look at the next digit over, which is a one. We don't care about the nine, we only look at the one. That's a small value, less than five. So we round down to 0 0.8. So we're going to switch colors here and just get some extra practice here. What if I have the number 14.02? We're rounding to the nearest tenth. This is the tenths place. So we look one spot past that and we see a two. That's less than five. So we round down, which means we're going to get 14.0. Our choices were 14.0 or 14.1. Okay, so you, those are only choices. You can stay where you're at or you can go up to the next one, which would be 14.1. Um, but here, this was so small, we had to stay and round down like this. What if we have 5.488? We're rounding again to the nearest tenth. This is the tenth's position, so the only thing you care about is looking at the next digit past that, which in this case is an eight. That's bigger than five. So it's going to round up to 5.5. Your choices were 5.4 or 5.5, which would flip this guy to the next number and we use this digit to figure it out. This was bigger than five, so we rounded this digit up. Notice that all of our answers are rounded to the nearest tenth. This is the tenth space, this is the tenth space, this is the tenth space, this is the tenth space. So when you're rounding to the nearest digit, that's what you're doing. You're cutting it off and making a decision on that digit. 1.652, again, we're rounding to the nearest digit, which is in that spot. So all we do is we look at the next one, that's a five. So because it's five or greater, we're gonna round up to 1.7. Okay, so all of our answers here rounding to the nearest tenth have one spot after the decimal. So now we're going to get a little bit more practice. We're gonna be rounding to nearest hundredth. All right, so so far we've been rounding to the nearest whole number and rounding to the nearest tenth. So now we're going to do the same process, but going to one more decimal out, 3.452. We want to round to the nearest hundredth. Now the hundredth space, this is the tenths space, this is the hundredth space, so that's the digit we want to round. In order to decide if it should be a five or go up to a six, we need to look at the next digit. It's a small number, it's less than five here, so the answer that we stick with is 3.45, okay? What if we have 3.458? What digit are we rounding to? We're rounding to the hundredths place, so we're trying to decide if this digit should be a five or a six. The next digit over tells us that. This is bigger than five, so we round up to 3.46, okay? What if we have 1.093? We're rounding to the nearest hundredth. 
this digit. We're trying to decide what we should do with this digit. So in order to figure that out, we look at the next one over, which is a three, right? Which is less than five. So everything stays the same. We round down to 1.09. This digit doesn't flip up because this one ne next one over was small. Okay. Now this one I'm going to have fun talking about with you. 1.097. What is going to be the answer here? Well, we're rounding to the nearest hundredth, which is this position, right? Um, but we want to, so we need to decide what to do. In order to figure out what to do, we look at the next digit, which is a seven. Seven's bigger than five, so we're rounding up. But the problem is we have a nine here. If we round up from nine, uh, really we should get 10. So how do you actually handle that? The answer in this case would be 1.10. The nine flipped to a zero, and then the next digit to the left flipped to a one. That's what happens, right? Whenever you, uh, whenever you go to 39, you get 40, right? So when you just count numbers, you learned a long time ago, it's 29, and then 30, right? And then 39, and then 40. When you increase this by one more, it becomes a zero, and then the next digit flips up one more. Same exact thing happening here. We're deciding to flip this guy up one, so it becomes a zero. This digit becomes a one now, and so we have 1.10. The last one, 45.608. What digit are we rounding to? The hundredths place, so this is the one we care about. In order to decide if it should be a zero or rounded up to a one, we look at this. This is greater than five, so the answer is 45.6. One, because this is greater than five, it means we round up to the next place. So that means 45.61.